This is Beneath the Steeple from Trinity Lutheran Church in the heart of downtown Reading, Pennsylvania. Autumn brings many festivals of the church, from the jubilance of Reformation Sunday to the majesty of Christ the King to the quiet remembrances on all saints. On the other Sundays, we continue our journey through Mark's Gospel, hearing the astonishment and incredulousness of Jesus' followers and opponents as his true identity comes into clearer focus. I'm Hans Becklin, Senior Pastor of Trinity, and we're honored to share God's word of grace with you today as you join us beneath the steeple. Thank you. 
Messiah, in a way, he is saying that he is deeply connected to the source of all truth. In fact, he's even saying that he is a integral part of that cosmic mystery that is true. But Jesus is also saying that he is the leader of everyone who belongs to the church. That just like a king, when our incarnate truth gives the world his salvation. What Tyler was wrong on that wasn't the appellation No, the part where he lived was the rest. Of the Jew part. Jesus wasn't just the king of the Jews, he was and is and ever will be the king of all the nation, the only source of truth. When we think about Jesus' transformative life, death, and ministry, then we can say that he is the that the ancients hoped for. We can also say that Jesus is our world's hope, his only hope for a better future, a world occupied by sin, death, and destruction. We can also say that of all the beings who ever walked this earth, Jesus and Jesus alone is the only one who can truly fit. He is the only one who can really establish a new way of relating to God to God's people through faith. On this Christ the King Sunday, we must notice that there are still people who seek to claim the title and role and throne that belong to Jesus. And we should also encourage our rulers, imperfect though they are, and vessels of God though they are, to see themselves not as the be all and the end all, not as the hope, the shame, or the promised victory of our world, but rather as a person who can use their immense power to be a vessel of God's hope, to be a vessel of God's truth, and to be a vessel of God's great work of repairing the world through faith. If we can truly believe this, then we can demand that our leaders embody it. We will have a chance to live in a society where nothing challenges the kingship of our Lord Jesus Christ. Then we will have a chance for God to work within our sinful human institutions and bring about a chance for which we pray every time we Thank you.